Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we will be checking about storage analytic data retention policies. So it's all about uh, when we talk about the Azure monitoring, we definitely will try to enable the required API metrics or maybe a different diagnostic logs, all of that. But we talked about diagnostic logging and, and log retention in the previous lectures and how we can like how we can configure diagnostic settings and logging retention policies for several of our Azure resources and we touched briefly on how we can set these retention policies or retention time for the storage accounts like for the blob and file properties of, of maybe table properties or queue properties like whether we can save for seven days or 365 days all that kind of settings we have seen in the diagnostic settings uh, lectures however let's jump into uh, this specific lecture and try to understand more about the storage analytic data retention policies as this is very important as part of as part of your data access management for the demo purpose we can go to our storage accounts and select one of the storage account let's say i can select this specific storage account and go go to the diagnostic settings and this is where you can configure the settings which we talked about it so let's see here uh, what other settings we can configure for example uh hourly metrics data which is collected and uh, this is how many days you want to you know retain retain these data so here from anything from seven days to 365 days that is one year we can save this data and similarly file properties uh, this is data also oh that's coming from the a metric specific again 365 days and file table specific 365 days so the this is where you can configure the data retention uh, settings uh, based on your uh, requirements important points for this lecture would be any storage that's a new storage account that you are going to create will have at least seven days by default as the retention time that's what we had earlier if you don't save it for example if you don't save it is seven days by default but uh, you can increase based on your uh, based on your requirements and the second most important point would be by default storage analytic will not delete any logging or metric data because uh, blobs or the tables entries will continue to be written until the shade of the 20 gb limit that is reached so once the 20 gb limit is reached storage analytic will stop writing new data and will not resume until free space is available so this is a 20 gb limit which is independent of uh, your total uh, limit of your storage account so there are two ways one would be either you should be using these uh, retention policies otherwise you have to make it a policy where you manually delete and create a free space so that it can write that data or that diagnostic logging information will be written so that's how it's going to work i hope this lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this i'll catch you in the next lesson